How to perform a bench trial with Scott Laboratories. In this video, we will cover how to prepare stock solutions of both powdered and liquid products, how to calculate the amount of stock solution to add to each trial volume, and how to prepare the trial samples. Why perform bench trials? We recommend performing bench trials with many of our products, including lysozyme, tannins, enzymes, and fining agents. A bench trial is a small-scale test that simulates the effect of the product will have on a large volume of wine. Bench trials are used to evaluate the efficacy of treatments, determine proper dosage rate, and gain familiarity with addition methods. By working in small volumes, large volume mistakes can be avoided. Wine matrices differ for many reasons, vintage variations, winemaking practices, etc. So bench trials must be repeated for every lot of wine. An additive that worked last year on a different lot may not work again in the same way or at the same dose. Bench trials also demonstrate how an additive will behave during preparation or rehydration or mixing. Many finishing products have unique and sometimes difficult solubility issues which can pose a challenge in the cellar. Bench trials alert the winemaker to potential issues and can help formulate a more efficient plan when additions are made in the cellar. Let's get started. Making stock solutions. Why prepare a stock solution? When working with fining agents, tannins, stabilizers, or other additives in bench trials, it is important to remember that these products are designed for large-scale use in tanks, multiple tanks, or other reasonable volumes of wine you'd see in the cellar. As a result, they come in highly concentrated forms to effectively treat large volumes of wine. When conducting a bench trial, you use very small volumes of wine, typically 100 milliliters, 375 milliliters, or 750 milliliters. These small volumes would require very small amounts, sometimes even microscopic amounts, of the concentrated product, which can be difficult to measure accurately with standard laboratory equipment. By preparing a stock solution, you dilute the product in water, making it easier to measure. This diluted solution allows you to work with a larger volume that can be accurately measured with pipettes and other tools you have in the lab. How to prepare a stock solution. You will need a set of micropipettes and pipette tips, a volumetric flask, water for preparing the stock solution, and your product. Procedure. Step one, choose volume of stock solution to prepare in milliliters. A common volume to prepare is 100 milliliters. Step two, choose the concentration of stock solution to prepare in percent. The percent refers to percent weight by volume for powdered products and percent volume by volume for liquid products. Typical stock solution concentrations are 2.5%, 5%, and 10%. Step three, calculate how much product is necessary to prepare the stock solution by using the worksheet on the screen. It is also available on our website and the link can be found in the video description. If preparing a powdered product, begin by weighing out the amount of powdered product calculated in the last step. Fill the volumetric flask halfway with water, Add the product, swirl or invert to mix, fill the volumetric flask to the indicator line with water. Ensure the bottom of the meniscus is touching the line. Agitate or invert to mix again. If preparing a liquid product, begin by filling the volumetric flask halfway with water. Pick up a clean pipette tip and pipette the amount of liquid product calculated in step three. You may need to decant a small amount into another container to make this easier.
Tip, there are two stops on a pipette. Only to press the pipette to the first stop when picking up product. When adding to the volumetric flask, fully depress the pipette to the second stop. This ensures the full amount of product has been dispensed from the pipette. Do not use the second stop when picking up product or the volume measured will be inaccurate. Fill the volumetric flask to the indicator line with water. Ensure the bottom of the meniscus is touching the line. Agitate or invert to mix. How to prepare the bench trial samples. You will need wine, stock solution, bottles or glasses, a funnel if using bottles, graduated cylinder and watch glasses if using glasses. Protocol. Step one, determine which dosage rates you would like to trial. Consult the technical data sheet for recommended dosage ranges. Step two, determine what sample volumes you will use. If the trial needs to sit overnight or longer, use a bottle. If the trial will be evaluated within a few hours and only a few people are tasting, wine glasses can be used with 50 or 100 milliliters of sample. Step three, pull enough sample to cover each dosage rate plus a control sample that you will use as reference. Step four, determine how much stock solution should be added to each of the trial dosages using either the worksheet or the cheat sheet shown on the screen. These are available on our website and the link can be found in the video description. If preparing your trial in bottles, label each bottle with the dosage rate and ensure a control, untreated sample is also prepared. Fill the control with wine. Fill each of the other bottles halfway with wine. Pipette the appropriate amount of stock solution into the first dosage rate. Reference your calculations from step four. Decanting the stock solution into a small beaker may make this easier. Fill the bottle the rest of the way with wine. Cap and invert gently to mix. Repeat with the other dosage rates. If preparing your trial in glasses, label each glass with the dosage rate and ensure a control, untreated sample is also prepared. Use a graduated cylinder to measure the wine and pour into each glass. Pipette the appropriate amount of stock solution into the first dosage rate. Reference your calculations from step four. Decanting the stock solution into a small beaker may make this easier. Swirl the glass gently to mix. Cover with watch glasses if you will not be tasting immediately. Repeat with the other dosage rates. Lastly, taste and or test after the appropriate waiting period. Consult the product technical data sheet for recommended contact time. Tip, for finding agents, this might just be as long as it takes the agent to settle. For most tannins, it should be at least one week if the actual recommended contact time is not realistic for a bench trial.